Is there any way of discovering your purpose earlier than that, or is there a certain amount of life, business, and family experience that we need to go through that helps reveal that purpose to us? I feel everyone has a unique footprint. So you in your 30s, me in my 40s. I think that life gives us so many lessons and it's the lessons that keep coming back and hitting us like head on, right? Those lessons that are meant for us, but we can't quite get over the speed hump or we're trying to maneuver around it, but really we just want to walk over it with ease. I think if you have life lessons like that, it means that the universe is saying to you, I'm here to show you the way. I'm here for you to understand what your power and purpose is and start listening. And it can happen in your 20s. It can happen in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. I spoke to Marianne Williamson a few months ago on our podcast and she said to me, I didn't really discover it until I was in my 60s. But in my 40s, I felt like I found myself and I found that was so interesting. And now she's going into her 70s and she just said, I find like... I'm now like living the life I've always wanted. So I don't think you can put a number on it, but what I think you can do is recognize that you can get there faster if you learn the lessons because the lessons are there to level you up and to put you at a higher vibration, which means that you've got a calling. And when you've got a calling in life, it's there for you to answer. Mm. There's moments of rebirth and ownership that we go through. I've Mm. spoken on the show before how at the age of 23, that was basically the first time in my life that I stopped being a victim and I planted a flag to life and said, you know what, come and get me. And that was the moment I started consuming everything I could find on peak performance and mindset and relationships Mm. and got my health dialed in in every way and started really caring about the people that I was hanging around and how I was working on myself in every possible facet. But that is what led to, you know, that's been a long journey to get to this point now Mm. where it's only in the last few years the purpose has become very, very clear to me. So on the condition that we're open to it and having the right conversations through coffee dates, the network Mm. that we can build up, the professional expertise and specialized knowledge that we develop that enables us to give value to other people Mm. where we can then step into that purpose and, and be open to something that's so much more powerful and then start living in alignment and integrity with that. And a lot of people ask about how do you find flow? Mm -hmm. And I feel I want to deep dive on this a little bit more because what you're saying is you're soaking up all of this information. Don't wait until you have a near-death experience or something major that happens to you to make change. Like be the change you want to see. Like it's a famous quote. The more you take the smaller steps forward, the bigger the momentum. You don't have to take a big step forward to find your purpose All you need to do is each day make a promise to yourself to shift that energy forward. And what you will find is that you will come into alignment a lot quicker when you understand that the doors that are not meant for you are meant for someone else to experience and the doors that you easily walk through are the experiences that you're meant to have. 